Welcome back my little punkies. If you're new here, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. If you're a weirdo, if you like crazy fashion and makeup and hair, then hit the like button down below and also hit the subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss any of my upcoming videos. Today's video is going to be a little stressful for me because I I super love bathing suits. They're like my favorite thing other than like sunglasses and tulle skirts like I super love bathing suits I'm like super into swimming although I can never swim because I don't have a pool and I don't feel like going to somebody else's pools either way I super love bathing suits I have like a ton of bathing suits this time of year the end of August the beginning of September they are trying to get rid of their bathing suits in most sites so you can usually get them for pretty cheap so I recently bought a ton of bathing suits for super cheap and I wanted to show you what I got. And because I don't like my body just like every other woman in the world, I'm like super self-conscious of showing you me wearing the bathing suits, but I'm gonna be brave and show you anyway. So I just a disclaimer, I hate my legs, they're super flabby, and I have stretch marks and cellulite just like anybody else does, and nobody tells you when you get old your skin starts to sag, so I have a lot of saggy skin, so although I'm fairly thin, I do have this extra hangy skin, so not, not the greatest look to have. So with that being said, Without further ado, let's get into the bathing suits. I should also mention that if you like this makeup look, I will be posting a tutorial on how I did this look tomorrow on Monday. So if you want to see how I did this look, then tune in on Monday. Okay, so I have this huge shoe box. It, I know it says Club X, but it's not Club X. It is a box full of bathing suits, so I am going to show you all the bathing suits that I got. And I got these from a bunch of different places, and I have hopefully, oh geez, there's a bunch of sand in here. Uh, the tags are in here too, so I will try to let you know how much I paid for them. The stuff that is from Forever 21 has the original prices on the tag so I would have to look and see how much it paid because there was like a sale where you got like 50% off so I will try to pop it up on the screen somewhere to let you know how much I actually paid for it but first top I got from the store Gabe's and if you've been watching my videos I've talked about Gabe's before Gabe's Gabriel Brothers. It's a l regional store in our area that sells like discounted overstock or s stuff that's slightly damaged or stuff they're just not selling and they're trying to get rid of. So this top is from Justice and because I am on the thinner side I can wear their largest size which is a 16 in kids and this fit super good um, I find and I've tried this before I can't wear one pieces in kids stuff because little kids have shorter torsos and as an adult I have a larger torso so one pieces do not fit in kids so you can buy the separates no problem and they'll fit so this one all of these tops that I got from Gabe's were like either two dollars on clearance or they were I think $2.99 so I'm not sure which one this was I think it was two dollars but it's just this hot pink like gingham pattern it's got these little ruffles on the front so that is the first top and I paired it with these neon green bottoms that I got from forever 21 and the brand is misguided and I got them in a size US 6 and these fit super good too. I 
really don't like um, as they call them cheeky bottoms because your butt generally hangs out on, like too much for me but these are like considered cheeky bottoms again I'll post the price up because I got these like for 50% off but that I am pairing with this pink top so I will go ahead and show you those two on The next bottoms are these pink and black polka dot bottoms from Justice again. And these are again, well, these are size 14 because they didn't have a 16 in these, but they still fit. They're a little bit snug, but they're, they still fit. But they're, they have like these little bows on the side. And the reason why I like kids bottoms more than adult bottoms are that they're more full coverage because little kids don't want their whole butt out like adults apparently do but these cover my whole butt and they're super cute so I got those and I paired them with this black halter tie type top with this little cutout in the middle um, this is from forever 21 and it's in a size it's a size small is like the little tie to hold it around your neck just basic halter type top so again i'll post the price of it on the screen but those two i paired together so let's see how those two look together <music> The next bottoms are these pink string bikini from the brand OP, which is in a size three, a size small, it's a size three, five, but I got these at Plato's Closet and everything at Plato's Closet bathing suit wise was 50% off. So I got these for like, like two or $3 too. I mean, I, I don't remember but nothing that I got from Plato's Closet or Gabe's was more than two or three dollars except uh, there's a couple Victoria's Secret tops I got from Plato's Closet that were five dollars but so these are just pretty basic pink hot pink string bikini bottoms and I am pairing it with this Betsy Johnson bathing suit top that I got off of Poshmark for this was the most expensive thing I bathing suit I think I got and it was twenty dollars just for this top but it's Betsy Johnson and everybody knows that I love Betsy Johnson on this channel so it's just this little floral ruffly top and this is a size medium which I kind of regret getting it in that size because it's a tad bit too big for me um, so I had to like adjust this back strap to make it a little bit more tighter, but the boobs don't really fit in there very well. So I was looking to pair this with another bottom that didn't end up matching. So I decided to wear it with these pink bottoms. So this is the Betsy Johnson top that I'm wearing with the pink bottom. So let's see how that looked. <music> The next bottoms are these black and silver polka dot bottoms from Justice again that I got at Gabe's in a size 16. They got this little ruching detail. I don't know if you can really see it on there, but with a little bow at the bottom. Again, pretty full coverage bottom, which I like. So I got these bottoms again, two to three dollars. And the top I got with it is the silver top from Forever 21 that is again misguided and it's in a US 6 and it's just a super shiny metallic 
tank crop tank top like top so I paired those two together and let's see how those looked <laughs> The next top I got from Plato's Closet, and it's one of the Victoria's Secret ones I was talking about earlier, and it's in a size 34B, and it was $5, and it's just like color blocked, pink, purple, yellow, or green, and turquoise like bandeau, but it has like this little string that you can attach to it, so it's not strapless. It has like these cups, so it makes you know hold your boobs up nice but it fit really good and I am pairing it with these white bottoms that I got from Plato's Closet and this was a set that came with a white top and again it was like I think three or four dollars but these are a size small it doesn't say what brand they are but they barely fit like they're super super small and you'll see in the try on that they're like squeezing me way too much and causing some muffin tops so this is definitely too small which doesn't make any sense because every pretty much everything I bought is a small or a kid's you know extra large but I'm not sure why these don't fit but they have this like little crochet detail on the side and they're just these plain white bottoms so let's see how those two look. The matching top that goes with those white bottoms is is this like halter top that has again like this crochet detailing on it that this wraps around your neck on here this is a small as well which fits but on this clasp on the back it says spindrift so I don't know if that's the brand I never heard of it before but it's just this white little halter top I thought was cute and I decided to wear that with these high-waisted gingham blue bottoms that I got from Forever 21 and these are a size small and I like the high-waisted bottoms more because it can kind of hide some of your stomach that might not be super looking good so I super loved these and I paired it with the white top so I'll show you how that looks The next bottoms are from Forever 21 as well, but I got these off of Poshmark. There was a girl selling this three-piece set that I was looking for bottoms to go with another top that I got from Gabe's, and I got, it was a three-piece set, but they're all from Forever 21, and this is a size large, actually, the bottoms, but they fit, you know, fairly well, but they're, again, this high-waisted blue and white polka dot bottoms and I am wearing it with that I got from Gabe's that again is from Justice and it's just this little polka dot one shoulder type looking ruffle top and it's a size 14 in Justice again like the 14s and 16s are basically the same I mean the 16s fit more a little bit more better than the 14s do but this it still fits and I thought this was cute because I super love polka dots and I will show you how those two look
The other two bathing suit pieces that came with the polka dot bottoms that were again from Forever 21 are these string bikini blue and white stripe bottoms and this is again these are in a size medium but I w I'm wearing those with the other piece that came with that three piece set and it's the string bikini top in this blue and white polka dot and that is in a size small so the three pieces I think I got for ten dollars I'm gonna say but I'm, I'm not positive I'll have to look I'll post it on the screen uh, if, if that's the case but just a nice cute little string bikini set with stripes and polka dots which is one of my favorite pattern combinations so let's take a look at that <music> Next bottoms are again from Justice that I got at Gabe's again for like two or three dollars and they're these like blue with like this rainbow neon stripe on them and these are a size 14 and they're a little bit tight but they're super cute and I am I paired them with this neon yellow top that has this black little inset with like a little lace-up detail on the side and this is from forever 21 and this is in a size small and this is the other thing that doesn't really fit i mean look how small the boob area is in this like it barely covers like any part of your boob i mean i thought this was the back at first but the back is like even smaller so this is definitely the front and it is super small but you'll see it kind of smashes the boobs down but there's not a whole lot of boob room in this thing but it was super cute and i paired it with that other bottom Next top is the other Victoria's Secret top I got at Play-Doh's Closet for $5. And it's this super cute uh, sequiny top that has these like padded cups in it. It is a size 34C, but it's super cute and sparkly your bug and it has like this little bow te detail on the front and I decided to wear this with these yellow high-waisted bottoms from forever 21 and again these are the cheeky bottoms but high-waisted and then they are in a size small and I got these just recently when they were having another sale so I got these for like uh, like five bucks so let's take a look at that swimsuit. Next set is actually a set that they're both from wonder nation and it's a kid's brand again it's like this neon floral bathing suit and it's in a size extra large 14 16 but that's the top just like this little triangle top and it comes with these little neon rainbow bottoms and they are in the size extra large too so that's super cute little neon bathing suit done I 
promise. There's three more bathing suits. This next one I got from Walmart, which I was kind of surprised because I kind of hate Walmart's clothes. Like, I never find anything cute there. There's like a couple leggings I've got from there, but generally I don't buy anything from Walmart. But it's this cute little rainbow polka dot top with these little ruffle sleeves. And I don't remember how much I paid for this. It was $7.96. $7.96 for the top. And $7.96 for the bottoms, which are just these cute little... Bottoms with the little ruffles on the side. So I thought that was super cute. So surprisingly from Walmart. Next one is a set from Play-Doh's Closet and it's these orange bottoms. My husband picked this out because he wanted me to do a photo shoot with our car that's orange. So it has like these little, this little side detail. This is from the brand Acceleration and the bottoms are an extra small, but they actually didn't fit as small as the white ones that were small. So I don't know, but that's the bottoms. And the top is like this halter top that has like, again, this little crochet detail on the front. And it has like this crisscross back, but it is again from Exhilaration. The top is a medium, but I got it from Plato's Closet. And it was a set and I think it was like three or $4 for the set. final bathing suit is probably my favorite. It's very goth looking. The top is from Plato's Closet and it's an H&M uh, an H&M top that is in a size US 8 and it's like this like bondage looking top that has like this you know a lot of buckles and the snap in the back but it has like this little mesh cut out in the front here but it's super cute and the bottoms I got to go with it are from Forever 21 I think these were a little bit they were 50% off but I think they were like they ended up being like eight dollars but it's these suspender bottoms that has like this lace-up detail that are super super high cut like 80s style if anybody was alive in the 80s and wore bathing suits for some reason the leg holes were super gigantic google 80s bathing suits and you'll see what i mean but this is very much very high-waisted but the leg cutouts go clear up to my hip bones but i like this little suspender detail and again i got like a very goth goth look from this bathing suit so it was my favorite and that is all of the bathing suits in case you weren't counting, there was 14 bathing suits. So that means 28 pieces, tops and bottoms. And I probably only spent like, I probably spent like $100 or a little bit more than $100 for all of these bathing suits, which I think is like fantastic. I mean, in the past, I've paid like $30, $40 for 
bathing suits like Victoria's Secret bathing suits back in the day when they were into selling clothes and stuff. I used to like always get Victoria's Secret bathing suits that were always expensive. So a hundred plus dollars for 14 different bathing suits I think is a pretty good deal. So again, if you are into bathing suits like I am, you should wait till August to look for bathing suits and you can get for super cheap. So so that is something flashed so that is all of my bathing suits for my cheap swimsuit haul i hope you enjoyed it let me know which swimsuit was your favorite or which piece was your favorite do you guys like swimming or going to the beach in the try on portion of this video i was at the lake i did want to do the videos with the water in the background but it was too sunny out and there was no way like i was just fully blown out from the sun so i had to just shoot facing away from the, the water so but you can tell i'm on sand and i'm on a beach at a lake we occasionally go to the lake I haven't been to the beach in a long time, although when we were in California, we went to Newport Beach, so I do like the beach and love swimming and super have way too many bathing suits. Another reason why I am a California girl at heart that lives in rural Ohio. That's it for this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and remember same as lame so embrace your weirdness and i will see you guys in my next video